And welcome back. It's a relationship retreat just for veterans. Ed Waltrip with the Palmetto Life Coach is here to tell us more about this retreat and how you or someone you know can attend. Welcome to the show. And uh, th Thank this you. is something that our veterans really need. Not only the veterans, uh, most of the time, the majority, the high majority of the time, it's it's a male that's going overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a male that that's that's leaving and, and uh, leaving either his wife or he, the wife and the family here. Uh, and, and there's a there's a lot of uh, needed therapy, mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not, with mm -hmm. our veterans when they're coming back from from deployments, mm -hmm. the AOR combat zones, and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah, it is, and and uh, not to disagree with you, but. Um, there, there are a lot more women going into combat and all yes. such now too. Mm -hmm. But um, as you well know, there's there's the we call it sink home, commander in mm -hmm. chief. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 spouse who stays behind has to pick up all the responsibilities, all of the sure. demands that are there. Mm -hmm. And so there are they have to come back and figure out how do we do this mm -hmm. thing again, right. uh, outside of what the military has mm -hmm. been and the deployments have demanded. Mm -hmm. So it's either the male or the female that comes back, and a lot of times mm -hmm. uh, th they're wound pretty tight because mm -hmm. of what they have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they come back to another reality, mm -hmm. uh, which is the subtleness of what goes on from a day to day, the washing the clothes, the paying the yeah. bills, the mowing the grass, and so forth. And, and, it's, and it's a huge gear down from what they were used to. It is, and, and in fact, I, I just spent 12 years as a VA chaplain, most mm -hmm. of that in mental health, working mm -hmm. with uh, mm -hmm. Couples and folks like that, um, and it's it can be the smallest thing that'll set mm -hmm. somebody off because mm -hmm. the, they don't know how to ramp it down to to bring it down from deployment level mm -hmm. of of intensity. Mm -hmm. And so that's um, and in, when I was in the VA, we created a, a marriage retreat program mm -hmm. about seven years ago. It took mm -hmm. it across the U.S. That was in Georgia, it, in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I co-created that with my my boss and mm -hmm. another social worker, and mm -hmm. it took off. It's, it's mm -hmm. powerful, it's transformational, but mm -hmm. it's not getting to where it needs to get mm -hmm. within the VA. Yeah. Uh, and so I wanted to bring it back home. I grew up here, I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. it's close to my heart. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I brought that model mm -hmm. and, and I'm introducing the, what I call the anchor points relationship mm -hmm. retreats. And I have two of those. Mm -hmm. And the first one is, is based on the PEARS curriculum uh, it, Pears is uh, out of South Florida. Mm -hmm. There's a foundation there. You can go to my website at palmettolifecoach.com and get a link, and it'll take you mm -hmm. there. And in fact, mm -hmm. there's a video you can watch that'll tell you more about uh, how they're doing that, how we were doing it in the VA. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring that here, and so I have Anchor Points Relationship Retreats One, where we do that, and we teach. It's an educational retreat, so mm -hmm. we teach uh, communication skills, emotional literacy, mm -hmm. and constructive conflict. Mm -hmm. and then I bring you say, back. Say those three things again, ah, because yeah, we, were, we were talking earlier in, in the green room. Tell us those three things again, what you're going through. Emotional there. literacy, uh -huh. constructive conflict, okay. and communication skills. Mm -hmm. They sound very basic, but, mm -hmm. but, but we're about getting back to the basics and yeah. really helping folks figure out how to do that again. And it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty spectacular to watch mm -hmm. when we take them from the beginning through to the end, what yeah. happens in the midst of that. Because. Mm -hmm. You've got a couple initially uh, that, that were in love, separated because mm -hmm. of uh, military commitments, mm -hmm. and then coming back, um, a, a lot of times there is uh, there's that time separated, but there's just so much that's going on in both of their lives now, and it's the combining, trying to combine, because you know, they're, they're still, you loved each other initially, and you just had that separation, so you not you now got to get back to that love that was, that was initially there. Right, and yeah. that's why we start with emotional literacy. How do mm -hmm. we get back to building trust and mm -hmm. vulnerability mm -hmm. so that we can enter into that place which mm -hmm. rebuilds the relationship? Mm -hmm. And you know, folks lose those skills e even without all the deployments and the combat stress. Sure. We lose those over time. So mm -hmm. whether you're a little bit broken or you're really just, and we've had mm -hmm. them all the way to the mm -hmm. divorce step, the courtroom steps, and, and they make it. And, and Again, you were saying this does not necessarily have to be with, with people uh, that were separated by deployments or whatever, right. because some of that does happen even when people are, uh, you know, when you go in the military, it's a whole different ball game, as you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a whole different ball of wax. And so uh, people being able to understand that and the commitment to their job and then still the commitment to the relationship, even if they don't go overseas or deployed. Yeah, and in yeah. a veteran, veteran setting, there's already a sense of family and mm -hmm. being known, mm -hmm. which helps 
everybody kind of move into that place. Mm -hmm. And then when we, we finish that one, we have a second retreat we bring them back with, mm -hmm. and we go over the Myers-Briggs personality type indicator. Yeah. So, and that helps them figure out how mm -hmm. they're wired, how they adjust with each other. Mm -hmm. And really, it's, it's a, it's a two-punch knockout to get, mm -hmm. your, get your marriage back into place. Yeah. Uh, the program is going to be very soon, but hopefully, hopefully in the fall. Mm -hmm. The way that people can uh, get a hold of you is the website that's mm -hmm. right there. If you would like to help sponsor a veteran or a couple uh, that are part of the veteran, uh, part of the uh, military, uh, and this can be current veterans or past veterans, Anybody uh, it's $75 a person or $150 for uh, the couple, and it'll extend from a uh, Friday evening uh, into the Friday evening and then come back on Saturday, and it's mm -hmm. a, a great education. Uh, a lot of pertinent information for people uh, coming back from, from the AOR, from overseas, and, and even people that, that don't do that, that you can be able to relate to each other. You fell in love with each other, you there want to stay go. in love, but you're having some difficulties. This is how you can get uh, past those difficulties. Right on, yeah. I appreciate you being here with yeah, us man, today. Appreciate, appreciate your much, service man. as well, sir. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. Nashville News with Rick. Rick who? Rick Rush. He's back in just a moment. <laughs>